What up? It's your boy, Luke for Prez, back in the mix yet again with another video for you guys. Hope everyone's doing great out there. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a 21 Savage type beat with the help of Captain Plugin's Epic. 21 Savage is actually one of the artists that inspired me to get into producing to begin with. So this type of beat is one of my favorite kinds to make. So I'm really excited to show you guys how to come up with something in the vein of 21 Savage. So with that being said, let's get into this. All right, so the first thing that I did is opened up Captain Chords, as I usually do to kick things off. And I selected the key of C minor. 21 Savage type beats are those classic dark, ominous trap beats that typically utilize minor keys that have that sort of aggressive sound. So I thought C minor would be perfect for this. And what I did from there is I went ahead and I came up with a very basic chord progression that I created just by utilizing the buttons up here at the top. And then I kind of customized them just by moving things around a little bit uh, manually. So I didn't rely on any of the banks uh, within Captain Chords or any of the rhythms. I just kept it, at least for right now, um, where every chord hits on each beat. So this is what it sounds like with just the basic piano sound that comes standard with Captain Chords. I'll let you hear it now. So kind of descending, you know, like getting darker and darker as we go. Usually 21 Savage type beats have a lot of piano sounds, sometimes some ambient pads, also some flutes, especially when he collaborates with Metro Boomin, uh, which is you know, one of the top trap producers in the world and somebody that really kind of helped galvanize 21 Savage's career early on. So in any case, that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. Those are some of the sounds that I kind of used for this particular beat. So from there, what I did is I actually uh, exported the MIDI and brought it into the Steinway Grand Piano preset that comes standard in Logic. So once I had that in the piano roll in Logic, I actually went in and chopped up every chord. So they're still hitting on every beat, but now instead of just those long drawn out notes that you just heard, it gives it a little more speed and character in my opinion. And then also I, I added a couple extra notes at the end of the fourth bar and then the eighth bar as well, just to kind of switch it up so it's not too monotonous. This is what that sounds like. Yeah. From there, I threw on an RC20 retro color, which basically just makes the sound more vintage sounding and potentially more authentic because obviously we're using, you know, a virtual instrument as opposed to a real piano for this. So with the preset that I used, which is vinyl one, I changed some of the parameters a bit. The piano now sounds like this. So some slight detuning, a little bit of like that crackly background noise as if this was, uh, you know, playing from a record player or something. And I think that just kind of adds to the ominous vibe. So from there, I opened up Captain Melody. Captain Melody automatically maps to the chords that you've created in Captain Chords. So when you go ahead and either generate a melody or draw it in yourself, it's gonna already match up with the chords that you created, which is super handy. It just saves a lot of time in general. Usually what I do is click this randomize button here, the little dice button, and it will generate a bunch of different melody options for you to either use or to kind of adjust from there. But this time I went ahead and just kind of clicked these notes in that I liked randomly for a top melody or a counter melody. In this case, it's really like a counter melody, I would say. Uh, cause it's not gonna be playing like throughout most of the beat, maybe just the second half of the hook. And for this, I utilized the flute preset uh, that comes built in, but just for now, I kind of used it as a placeholder. So this is the pattern that I came up with. And with the piano, So 
So just kind of spooky, you know, setting the mood a little bit. From there, I did the same thing. I exported this MIDI just by clicking the export button and I dragged it over into the Indian Bansuri flute that comes standard with Logic. So in case you wanna explore beyond what's in Captain Plugins, which has like a really awesome extensive library of sounds, you're certainly not limited to those sounds. They make it really easy for you to just throw in the MIDI that you create into a different software instrument. And that's what I did in this case. So once I brought that flute pattern in from Captain Melody to my piano roll in Logic, I raised everything an octave, and now together with the piano, it sounds like this. So I think that complements the piano really well. I like the, how it sounds. It's exactly what I was going for, which is basically, if you're familiar with the song X, which was one of 21 Savage's earliest hits with Future and also produced by Metro Boomin, uh, there's a, a flute that comes into part of that beat. And so that's sort of the, uh, that was the thought process behind this flute. After that, I just added a little accent bell to hit on the one of every four bars. It's a preset in Omnisphere called Angels. It's from uh, Palace's 808 Mafia Bank. And I'm basically using this as a crash, right? Or so something to that effect, some kind of hit to, to have you know at the beginning of, of each four bars. So this is what it sounds like. Those kind of, those bell hits are, are pretty popular in, in trap. So I wanted to include something like that. And then from there, what I did is I copied the chords that I created in Captain Chords, and I brought them into another instance of Omnisphere, and I found a really cool pad in there that I thought just added some atmosphere to it. I turned the volume quite a bit down. Um, that's minus 11 dBs. And I also added an EQ to it just to shape it. I took out some of the high end uh, and some of the low end, as you can see here. And I'll just play that by itself because it's kind of hard to hear otherwise since it's sort of tucked in the background. This is what the pad sounds like. And with everything else. Boom. Love it. So with that pad, that was pretty much all I wanted to do in terms of melody components to the beat. As I stress in a lot of these videos, it's extremely important to make sure that you leave space for the artist's vocals. So while it may be super tempting to just throw in a million different counter melodies and different sounds and layer everything a thousand times, ultimately that might turn an artist off from using the, the instrumental that you create because it's difficult for them to find a pocket for their voice. You have to remember the last instrument in your beat is the voice. So with that in mind, I went ahead and moved on to the drums and came up with a trap drum pattern. We got the spins 808, of course, classic, you need it. You need that in there, especially with these. We got a basic hi-hat pattern with just a few rolls and I played with the velocity a little bit as you can see, an accent snare, open hat pattern, kicks that just hit a little bit, like I didn't copy the entire pattern over into kicks, which I sometimes do, but not this time. Also this basic clap pattern. That, that is the south side clap, or at least that's what it said in the drum kit that I got it from. Sounds right to me. So this is what it sounds like all together. And with the melodies, Yeah, sounding good, sounding good. So really the last step here was to arrange the beat and also throw on a 21 Savage acapella that I found on YouTube that I thought fit really well. I'm working in the BPM of 130, so I found an acapella of 21 Savage that was in 130 BPM, so it worked out perfectly. I didn't even need to like quantize it or anything. As you can see, the arrangement's pretty basic. I have the intro here and then what could either be the verse or the first chorus, it just kind of depends. And then from there, I take out certain elements 
uh, like here I completely took out the 808s uh, and just had the percussion elements playing just to give it a little bit more space then I brought the 808s back then I took everything out except a couple melody components and the 808 and then back into that original hook uh, portion of it so with all that being said I'm gonna go ahead and play this for you guys so you can hear how it would actually sound if 21 Savage was really rapping on this beat I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial I'm gonna get out of here don't forget to like and subscribe to the mixed and key YouTube channel we got tons more content on the way enjoy the beat peace Money top, shack, chop a bullet, splat, chunky cheese, rack.